Hello guys, this is me Prezi and today I'm here with a new Minecraft video to be exact, a new Minecraft invention so I finally got some more time and I decided to just try and develop a new one and that's what I came up with, this is this thing here just in front of me this is what I like to call a end pulses so you can define exactly how many amounts of pulses you want to have and this thing here can handle three pulses up to 578 pulses and you just need to define it by putting the exact amount of items in there minus two so this is set up to 62 plus two because it's always adding two so 62 plus two is 64 and this button here is gonna activate the system and just to prove to you this chest here is empty at the moment also I hooked up a piston because this thing will output one tick pulses and this dropper is just filled up with iron blocks and this is the output so when I activate this thing now I said when I activate this thing now as you can see piston is going crazy and also this chest is getting filled up now by the dropper next to it which I just use as some sort of display. And as you can see exactly 64 items are in the chest now. You can also decrease the amount and I'm just gonna do the minimum pulses as I said one pulse, uh, one item so equals three pulses. So I activate this now and as you can see three pulses or items in the chest. Also you might wanna know that this thing here locks itself when it's working so when I just <laughs> make this up to 64 pulses again and as, as soon as the system is working I can't activate it a second time because it's locked by these comparators down there so this is an advantage you can't screw up the system or something like that so it's more or less likely idiot proof if you can say that so in English I don't know also one thing I like about it it's pretty compact and the best thing it's instant so well not instant but the thing is as soon as it's done and made one set of pulses which you defined before you can instantly start a second one start a machine again so when it's done you can start it again more or less likely instantly because it uses droppers instead of hoppers and that's something I used in my first tries as you can see they're not that compact the first one was actually, but they used a hopper and it took ages to reset itself. So that's about this. And now I think let's go and build it together. So see you just in a second. Okay, so now let's get to the tutorial. But before I'm gonna do so, in my inventory or in the hotbar you can see the items you're gonna need to build the system here. So you're gonna need exactly 10 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 8 redstone comparators, two redstone repeaters, two sticky pistons, four droppers, some building blocks of your choice, some half slabs of your choice, but and a button or any other power source so you can activate the system. Also you're gonna need some blocks of your choice which are stackable up to 64 items to set up the system. To begin with you want to place droppers facing into each other on top of building blocks like this. The next thing you want to do is extend this platform in both direction and place comparators like this so they read the inventory of the droppers. Those comparators have to face into blocks like this and then you want to place some redstone repeaters to grab the signal. Behind the repeaters you want to place redstone comparators. Also down here you want to place redstone comparators facing into the blocks below the droppers and those comparators have to read the inventory of the droppers down here and those have to face into each other again. On the other side of those droppers you want to place some more comparators like this. Those comparators have to face into blocks with redstone torches on top. Also you want to place some blocks on top of the redstone torches and redstone dust on the side here on the blocks on the side of the torch also you want to add blocks here next to redstone dust 
then you want to place sticky pistons like this with the block below same for the side also you want to add redstone dust just like this and now you want to right click the comparators once so this one and this one so they're under subtraction mode and this is getting displayed by this redstone torch being turned on now you want to play some stone slabs to get the signal you have to place one here then of course on the other side and up here two of them and this is your output and here on the side you got your input you have to power both of the stroppers at the same time you can do it by a button as I did it here in the tutorial or you could do it by redstone dust go going into one of them or of course redstone repeater and this pulse here can actually be as short as you want it to be it can also one tick pulse to activate the system now last but not least you have to set up your system so into one of those droppers you have to put one item and then into the other one diagonal from the first one where you put the items into you're gonna put the amount of items in where you, you want to have so for example if you want to have exactly 64 pulses you want to put in 62 items because 64 minus 2 is 62 so if you would fill up the complete system you would have exactly 578 pulses because 9 by uh, 9 times 64 is 576 plus 2 is 578 and now I just want to show you that it's working so I'm gonna place a dropper here power of his redstone and now put the chest next to it and of course fill it up with some items and this should be set up to 64 items or actually let's do 32 so 30 items 30 plus 2 is 32 so let's start it and look what we get as you can see the system is working and this is actually it from me today hope you liked the video thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye guys